Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 WeWare review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Pirates The Key of Dreams which uh, if you've never played it before it's a bit of an odd one it's probably best if I just shut up and show you some footage. So basically at the start you get three options start again which is obviously new game continue and multiplayer. Just going to go on to continue now and show you level 2 because I've already shown level 1 in my first look type thing. At the start of the levels you basically get some story which you can thankfully skip all in one go because personally I don't think the story is that good but you never know you might be interested in it. The whole point is to go around collecting treasure to basically fund your crew and the likes because when you get injured you'll have to pay your crew to fix the ship and you can also pay for like people to go onto your crew like a navigator who makes it faster, a gunner who increases the range of your guns and stuff. So you definitely want to be looking for treasure and it usually points that out but you go through the 10 levels destroying all the enemy ships and getting to the end. The enemy ships vary in a little bit, like some of them are smaller and faster, some of them are larger but they have loads of cannons, like as you can see here that one's got 8 cannons whereas that one that I've just shot down had 4. There's also like boat houses which basically spawn them and there's gun towers, so there's a few varying things but like other than just the ships but there's not much to do other than just shoot the hell out of things and go at the end of the level. There's loads of power-ups you can get, you can get things like these rockets here and the power-ups can also be used in the multiplayer so I'll just basically cut to the multiplayer now to actually show you it because personally I think the multiplayer is fantastic. So this is the multiplayer menu anyway, you can choose whether you want some bots on if like for example you're on your own or if you've got one mate round or you can just like switch them all off obviously and you can choose what ships you want to reverse or what ship you want to be so again you can be either one of the smaller ships or one of the bigger ships and then you just go through onto this like next menu which is the score limit so that's how many kills you have to get before you win you then get to choose the game's speed and then you get to choose between seven of the locations which they're all different locations and they usually just differ in the likes of colour and stuff of the sea so they're like the Arctic's got white water type things it's all supposed to be ice and stuff and then there's five variations of each map the only problem is, it's the same five variations of every one of the locations, so that's a little disappointing. And unfortunately I've probably chose the worst map to show you, because this only has the rockets and I wanted to show you a few more other things. So, I'll speak a little bit then cut to a different map. Basically, you may notice in all the corners now there's the energy limits, and in the top left, top right and all that, that's your energy, the little bars. And it's also got how many kills you've got just underneath that, how many of the secondary weapons you've got, and just how much energy and stuff, uh, not energy, treasure. The cannons, the way they work is a bit of an odd one because they actually fire out where they're most needed. So if there's someone to your left, fire left, someone to the right, fire right, someone on both sides, fire both sides. So I'm just going to cut into a different map now just to show you a few of the other power-ups. So here we go then, there's some different weapons on here, things like the chainsaw blades, they're just obviously really fast, they're pretty powerful, and they also reflect off the walls a little bit. There's uh, the rockets over there which I've already seen, shown you, you can get things like ball and chains, and they fire a bit quicker and more powerful on the rockets. You can get mines, which obviously you just plant the mines, you can get flamethrower, like what Panda's got over there in the top right. So it's just uh, loads of different weapons, they all have different powers to them and different speeds, so it's the type of thing that you may favour some other than like over others. Obviously things like the mines are more a uh, useful weapon to try and lure your foes to come after you so you can plant them behind you. Whereas the chainsaw blades, you're best off just going straight up close and personal and firing a few at them. Graphically, things were pretty damn good for the actual game. The actual game looks pretty good, as I say, it's just um, better than a lot of the budget wear titles. But the menus, they're a bit basic and they kind of look as if they were rushed together inside about five minutes. Which is a bit of a shame because the rest of the game looks pretty nice. Musically, there's nothing really I can say because there's no music while you're actually playing, there's just a few sound effects and chimes. So there we go then. That's been the review. I hope you found it helpful. I don't score the games because that's based purely on opinion, so instead, I'll leave you to make your own mind up. So thanks for watching, and if you've got any questions about the game that I didn't answer in the vid or that hasn't been answered in the comments, then feel free to ask and I'll help if I can. Also, if you did find it helpful, don't forget to check out my channel because there's plenty more like this up there. And don't forget to subscribe because there'll be plenty more to come as well. So until next time, this has been Demon212, signing off.